today, destinations just a stone's throw from Tulsa. A legendary restaurant in Sepulpa, a tasty tour in Broken Arrow, and a tunnel through Tulsa. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dino Lawler. We're checking out the cities and towns around Tulsa this week. We're going to be discovering Broken Arrow, taking a look at Jinx, Tulsa of course, but we're going to start here in Sepulpa. Behind me is the Creek County Courthouse. It was built in 1914. Same people who built that built our capital in 1917. Not quite as historic, but just as legendary as an eatery here in Sepulpa that just about everybody loves. Been serving food for 50 years and it's called Freddy's. Tradition is defined as, quote, the handing down of statement, beliefs, legends, customs, information, etc., from generation to generation, especially by word of mouth or by practice, unquote. Want to see another definition of tradition? Well, you're looking at it. Freddy's Barbecue and Steakhouse in Sepulpa. They're excellent food, incredible service, amazing hospitality. They're all combined into defining what is a first-class dining experience. So I think there's a lot of people because of Discover Oklahoma and its uh, area that it covers. Uh, I think people recognize that, uh, that what we have. We've been, we've been uh, uh, in the business since 1962, called, so this year is 50 years, you see. So over 50 years, you've, you've dealt with a lot of customers. 50 years, now that's truly an impressive statistic. Freddy's is known for all the things I just mentioned, but it's also the extra things that they do and the amount of food that they serve. Of course, one of the things that we do uh, is uh, our main steaks, which is our number one seller is the, the, the filet. And it'll have the, the tabbouleh, the hummus, the cabbage roll, the ribs and bologna, uh, and then another salad, and then of course your steak and potato. We have all kinds of different menus from from uh, seafood now, uh, we go into a lobster tail, a 16 ounce lobster tail. We have the lobster kebabs, which no one does a lobster kebab. Uh, of course, we have, and all these come with uh, all these hors d'oeuvres. Very unusual in today's market, but I will not take anything off because of the fact, even though that costs me more, it will stay the same because of tradition. Yes, there's that word tradition. Ed told me when people come in, he wants them to be comfortable like this is part of home. It's part of the longevity, which in turn equals over 50 years of service. One of the things that we, I stress to my staff is that I want them, my customers, to know them. I want you to know them also. And then if they do, then if you make a mistake, it's only a mistake. If they don't know you, it could be the worst thing in the world. That's my philosophy with my staff, and they do a very good job. And consequently, he has an extremely low turnover rate. Now his main chef, Dennis, has been with him since 1972. Whether it's for lunch or dinner, Freddy's customers know what's in store when they walk through the door. He has people come from all over, some from Edmond and Oklahoma City, just for a dinner date. Their purpose to go out that evening? Well, it's to go eat at Freddy's. Now on the side, Freddy's does an incredible amount of catering. That operation is housed in a different facility directly behind the main restaurant. And that too is based in tradition. It all comes back for the owner, Ed Slyman. It's taking pride in doing something right. It's about tradition. It's personal. You know, you can do a lot of television, you can do a lot of radio, and then it becomes, uh, I think you have to be kind of consistent to stay out there. But at the same time, you need to keep developing the personal thing. I think it's very important. And you have to develop your nucleus. Our staff is nucleus, and our town is nucleus, actually. And, uh, you know, the city of Sepulpa, they're advocates for us also. And, you know, hey, it's good because if we can draw people, they can draw people. It's good for everyone. To check out Freddy's menu and all their catering information, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. We're going to take a tour of the Sepulpa Historical Museum just a little bit later in the show, but right now we're going to head to another really busy Tulsa area city. It's called Jinx. It's located between the Arkansas River and Route 75. And of course, they're known for Antique Row and a lot more. A lot more. In fact, there is so much to see and do in and around Jinx. I'm really going to have to talk fast. 
Nestled beside the Arkansas River and just southwest of Tulsa, Jenks is known as the antiques capital of Oklahoma. Here, antique stores of every specialty are clustered conveniently together. The fun thing for shopping in Jinx is that it really is an all-day adventure. You can park once. We've got eight or nine shops on this block alone. Even if you're not sure what you're looking for, even if it's just a trip to the past, chances are you'll find it here. We all understand that this is an industry that um, really caters to those people that are looking for that free entertainment venue. All of our furniture is 100 years old or older, uh, and that's the definition, a uh, true definition of antiques is 100 years, vintage is 50. But just because Jenks is a repository for treasures from the past, don't be fooled, this growing city offers an ocean full of unique experiences, like the Oklahoma Aquarium, where thousands of salt and freshwater fish fill eight mesmerizing exhibit galleries. Well, the Oklahoma Aquarium was actually an idea first in 1984, quite a long time ago, by two boyhood friends who were from this area. They thought, wouldn't it be neat if the Tulsa area had a world-class aquarium? Well, it took several years for them to get that idea off the ground and rolling. And finally, in 2003, the aquarium opened its doors to the public, and we've done nothing but grow ever since. The state-of-the-art facility will have your head swimming. We don't recommend swimming with the sharks, though. We have four different species of sharks in this main exhibit. Uh, these are the largest sharks. We have the largest bull sharks in captivity, which are a very threatening shark to man. And so they're really fascinating to watch. We have lemon sharks. We also have nurse sharks, which are the ones sitting on the bottom that look like giant catfish. And we have sand tigers, which have the real big snarly teeth. After checking out the aquarium, you'll likely have worked up an appetite, and that's when you'll want to claim a table at the Waterfront Grill, known for its ambiance and its extensive menu. And the menu kind of grew out of the location because we're on the water, and we wanted a great feel for the restaurant as well as the menu. We wanted to be a broad menu which appealed to everybody. Open for lunch and dinner, one main attraction at the Waterfront Grill is the gigantic kitchen. We brought it in to the restaurant to where people could actually come in and when they're waiting for a table, uh, look, at, look at the grill and see all the seafood being cooked, all the steaks being cooked, the prime rib being cooked, uh, all the salads being made, the sushi. And that becomes part of the atmosphere. I'd say 30% of the atmosphere of the entire restaurant is the openness of the kitchen. After filling up on delicious cuisine, you'll be ready to wander over to Riverwalk Crossing. Right on the banks of the Arkansas River, this is no ordinary shopping mall. Allow this eclectic mix of unique shops and eateries to wash over you. Stroll, take in live music, or simply browse at this laid back venue. Here, when we first found out about it, I just thought it sounded really exciting and unique and to be in front of the river and have such an interesting venue. Um, we've always tried to sell things that are different, people haven't seen before, and so to be in a place that was kind of unique, it just seemed to be a good fit. From antiques to shark tanks, boutiques to beautiful cuisine, Jenks has seamlessly blended its antiquing persona with fresh, one-of-a-kind attractions, and that, to me, sounds like a vacation. All right, stay where you are. We are just getting started. And if you like history, we have a museum that'll make you the smartest person in the room. And if you happen to be a dairy addict, we got you covered there too. But next, downtown Tulsa. Kind of hard to wrap your head around it. We'll show you how to take in Tulsa from a whole new angle when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and found out they could save us money too. And so we ended up switching. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600. Any money you can save during the month and have some left over, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. Approximately a year and a half ago, my friend Gary Weiss, who I go to church with, had uh, become a AAA agency. And he had asked me, he said, let's just check, see what we can do. 
We tried to compare apples to apples to his current coverage. And uh, my premium went down $800 for the same insurance for this house. I was tickled. I mean, $800 is a lot of money. Go see Gary. Get your AAA insurance. It's, it's head and shoulders above the rest of the companies. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, checking out the cities and towns that surround Tulsa. But of course, we can't forget Tulsa itself. It's a beautiful metropolis with the nickname Oil Capital of Oklahoma. And that oil history has really made it a colorful place. It has indeed, and our Shaw Wagner recently discovered a way to get to know Tulsa's many different personalities. Tulsa was just coming into its own around the same time Art Deco design was born. And throughout the 1920s, Tulsa was a city of great wealth and expansion. Everyone was building and they had the money to do it right. So it's only natural that pristine examples of Art Deco architecture make up a large part of the downtown area. Many of those early buildings remain and are now listed on the National Register of Historic Places, shouldering together throughout downtown Tulsa, like architectural dessert. And perhaps the best way to fully digest their splendor is to tour them on foot so that you can pause frequently to gaze up and stare. The Tulsa Metro Chamber recognizes this and has made a downloadable map available on their website, which can guide you to 50 of Tulsa's Art Deco treasures so that you can plan a tour at your own pace. The Tulsa Historical Society also offers walking tours by appointment. And since 1987, Bandana Tours has offered history-steeped tours of Tulsa. It's a historical and architectural in nature, so we take you to the highlights, some of the most beautiful things. I remember, you know, uh, when I first started doing these tours, I was just, you know, a complete wash. I mean, something like this affects your soul, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you let it, uh, great architecture can do that. Owen tells me that oil tycoon Waite Phillips built the 24-story tile-roofed fill tower in 1927, and three years later put up the nine-story Art Deco showcase known as the Philcade right across the street. Marbled hallways and gold leaf ceilings embellish the Philcade. It is decor suitable for a man of Waite Phillips stature, and he lived here in the penthouse with his wife and kids, and officed just across the street in his fill tower building. All seemed perfect until newspaper headlines struck terror in the oil baron. Rumor has it that the kidnapping and death of Charles Lindbergh's son in 1932 prompted the construction of this tunnel between Waite Phillips' home and his office. As kidnapping fears swept the nation, Phillips contracted with miners from southeastern Oklahoma, who then tunneled beneath Fifth Street to provide safe underground passageway for Waite Phillips and his family. The tunnel is well-worn and admittedly pretty eerie, which puts you in the perfect frame of mind to take on an even spookier look at Tulsa with the folks from Tulsa Spirit Tours. Well, our tours are three hours long and it's on aboard the trolley, which is very old fashioned and takes you kind of very nostalgic. Um, we take you around to all the different famous landmarks in Tulsa and give you not only the history behind them, but the ghost stories as well. And um, we do go inside some locations, um, take you down into some of the backstage areas that you wouldn't normally get to see just visiting. Tulsa Spirit Tours carry you to some of the best known places in Tulsa, but you are guaranteed to hear things about them you may have never heard before. For instance, who is the mysterious cowboy who haunts Kane's ballroom? And the guy kind of laughed at him, turned to his bar bag, and said, do you want 10 cent popcorn? Turned around, the guy was gone. Never saw him again the rest of the night. Another stop on the tour is the Tulsa Little Theater. Haunted? Apparently so. A little girl named Sarah said to haunt the little theater. Legend says that she was here performing in a recital and she came down from the stage running up these stairs outside into traffic and was hit by a car. Much like a good novel, Tulsa's story unfolds with drama and bluster and a cast of fascinating characters. Even for Tulsans, it's a lot to take in. To truly get a handle on it, might I suggest taking it step by step building by beautiful building, and tour by tour. Discovering Tulsa's architectural, historical, underground, and haunted side, I'm Shel Wagner. To find out about all the tours in Tulsa and a lot more, all you need to do is visit the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. All right, in just a little bit, we'll be diving into the rich history of Sepulpa. But first, grab your spoon, because we're diving into something rich and creamy in Broken Arrow. We're talking ice cream. And AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. 
We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. And so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up. And when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I think we've made pretty good time so far checking out all the vibrant cities and towns surrounding Tulsa. And we've had a lot of success, except for me trying to refold the map. It was Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness for our GPS and our Ford Explorer. But the next stop on our list is Broken Arrow. You know, we're going to skip dinner and go straight to dessert. Bluebell ice cream actually started in Brenham, Texas, but this creamery in Broken Arrow is one of just three that produces the company's ice cream, sherbet, and popsicles. And boy, does it produce. 60,000 half gallons, 28,000 pints, 28,000 quarts, and 6,700 packages of those great frozen bullets. And that's each day. What makes me enjoy my job is when I get to see the little kids or, or anybody come in with a smile on their face and just be so excited about you know something that I do every day that's just second nature to me, but it, it's exciting to them and puts a smile on their face. This school group is all smiles as we tagged along to see exactly how this ice cream is made. First comes the cool little hat, then a tour of this massive operation starting with the dry ingredients. 10 to 12, 2,400 pound bags of sugar, for example. As you can imagine, that is a lot of sugar that we use every day. Then the dairy products. The milk is fresh, still has to be pasteurized, which happens right here. And it will take about 5,000 cows every day to produce enough milk for just one day of production here at the Broken Arrow plant. And homogenized. And that's what makes the ice cream really smooth, and that's what makes it taste really rich and creamy. And then the mixed ingredients get the taste test. And then we do a line test once an hour to check for quality, consistency, and taste. Do you guys think you'd like to be taste testers? Pretty good, yeah. Then comes a view of all the action. This tour even includes a movie. Good morning, Miss Annie. You run into her office again. Why, yes, ma'am, I am. And it's back to the country store. What would you like, sweetheart? A chocolate chip cookie, okay? For our own little taste test. This was the best part, wasn't it? I wish we could get more. I know. You think they'd notice if we got in line again? Yeah, probably. We're spoiling our lunch yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> From what I'm told, many employees at Bluebell Creameries, especially the new ones, do end up spoiling their lunches because the slogan's true. They eat all they want and sell the rest. For more information on the Bluebell Creamery and how to schedule your own tour, just go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Hey, lots more to come. Next up, a peek inside Sepulpa's fascinating history when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues in just a couple of minutes. In early April of this year, we had one of the most violent hailstorms I've ever seen in my life. And my wife called me, and you could hear the noise over the telephone. By the time I got home, got out here from town, there was hail everywhere. Baseball, size hail, golf ball everywhere. Uh, my truck was beat to pieces. It was, it was a pretty violent hailstorm. I called my AAA agent, Gary Wise, a friend of mine, asked him what the procedure was, give me the phone numbers, we need to turn this in. We hope to always be there whenever they need us, and that, that is the most important client that we have, is the one that we're talking to at the time. I feel AAA has treated me with the utmost respect. I feel like they were, went above and beyond to be respectful of our, our time and our property. AAA definitely is there for the right reason. The president of the insurance company called and asked, you know, what could, what could they do to help Woodward and help our clients in their time of need?
welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Let's take a look at today's AAA. Hello, Chuck May here with AAA Oklahoma. If you're like me, you love planning your next vacation. Whether you like the sandy beaches of Florida, the cool mountain air of Colorado, or an exotic cruise in the Caribbean, our AAA Oklahoma travel experts can make your dream vacation come true. They'll help you find the best deals on airfare, hotels, car rentals, resorts, and restaurants. Plus, if you plan to book your trip online, AAA can provide tips on how to make sure your reservations and your personal information remain secure. Look, everybody needs a little getaway now and then, so if you're looking for some hot deals on some fun places to explore, out of state or out of the country, or if you want to staycation at one of the many first-class resorts or parks right here in Oklahoma, call our AAA Oklahoma travel experts or visit us online at AAA.com today. Until next time, may the road lead you to exciting new discoveries. Whether it's insurance, travel, or peace of mind on the road, think AAA every day. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. Wow, I gotta tell you, what a lunch we had at Freddy's in Sepulpa, having a great time learning more about this picturesque Oklahoma town. It is, uh, I love Freddy's, I gotta <laughs> tell you. And while we were in the neighborhood, we took a tour of the Sepulpa Historical Museum and found out just a little bit about the city's background. The history of Sepulpa is told all through this museum from photos of the old schools in 1900, including yearbooks, pictures of the old football teams and bands, to the railroad because one thing can be said about Sepulpa, it was a railroad town. Frisco Railroad stopped here and, and for about 15 years before it carried on to Oklahoma City. And so our biggest employer, our best paying employer was the railroad. So we have a diorama of the way the yard looked in 1917. And the dioramas are what most people who pass through here seem to remember most. The museum is laid out so that each visitor will walk away with a full appreciation of this town's history. Want to see what Sepulpa looked like as a village in 1895, then a much larger city in 1929? You'll find it here. You can also see the trolley car system and the different businesses all through the downtown area. How Sepulpa was settled and the struggles people endured to create the town and the businesses is also told through pictures and artifacts. You'll see how this city helped supply the nation with energy. Now this particular building used to be a hotel, so the fascinating story of Sepulpa is told on the second floor through individual rooms. So each of the hotel rooms is themed out, uh, telling uh, a little bit about the history of Sepulpa, whether it's the people who served in the military, uh, uh, pictures of the old oil fields and the courthouses, and, and then one diorama that shows the way the town looked like in 1929. So uh, it takes a, about an hour or two uh, you know, when we take them around. And across the street is the Wade Phillips Filling Station Museum. The station itself was built in 1923, and it's now home to some true classics. Yeah, we have a 1939 Ford fire truck um, and a Model A, and then a 1922 Buick pickup, which are actually pretty rare. There's only 19 or 20 of them in the United States, and they all work. Everyone comes through the museum from school groups to retirement homes, and there's the international traveler coming down Route 66 who stops by. Uh, in fact, uh, this past year we've had people from five different continents and 17 different countries, and uh, 40 uh, of the states that have come through and stopped and through our museum. And those visitors all expressed that this was one of the better stops along the way, informing them of the interesting history of the city of Sepulpa. You can find out more about the Sepulpa Historical Museum as well as the Waite Phillips Filling Station Museum by making a quick trip over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com for a link to all the information you need. That's our show for this week. A big thanks to the folks here in Sepulpa for hosting us. And we want to specifically thank Annette Bowles. She's the director of the Main Street Association here. Well, it's Annette, a beautiful one, isn't it? It is. Annette is one of the hardest working ladies I've ever known. She really is. And thanks to you for watching. Next week, it's the season of love, and we're discovering destinations that will kick up the romance from a unique table for two to a cuisine that will expand your culinary horizons and a movie house that delivers some history along with the Hollywood. Help you join us. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department. <laughs>